Good morning. It is day three on the Camino Francais, and I am going as far as Pamplona today. I'm in Zubiri. It's about 20 kilometers. So <clears throat> I left it quite short um, these two days, um, just so I could uh, overnight in Pamplona tonight. Um, it is cooler by the looks of it. They said it was going to rain, but uh, there's no rain yet. So, but there are clouds, so we'll see what happens. Um, I think the cooler temperature will be welcome. Um, so, yeah, today's stage doesn't look like it's uh, anything special as far as uh, terrain is concerned and, um, and inclines, etc. So, um, yeah, so we'll um, just do it. Uh, I stayed at the second stage albergue here behind me. It, Sec two tap tapa, two etapa stage, and uh, it was pretty good. So um, yeah, when you're in Zubiri, not a bad place to spend the night. Um, Zubiri has got a couple of bars, a couple of restaurants, so um, yeah, everything you pretty much need. And uh, yeah, all the other pellegrinos are already kind of gone, um, but we'll see them this night. So, all right, well. Have a great day, and uh, let's do this. Laca, buen camino. So this factory, uh, just after Subiri, through the trees here, is huge. I think they do quarrying or sand, stone and sand and stuff. And uh, yeah, I read some people saying that don't stay in Zubiri because you can hear the factory from there, uh, etc. And uh, that's not the case. So no problem staying in Zubiri at all. So about five kilometers outside Zubiri. So we've gone past the factory and uh, then it's pretty much been in the forests on gravel roads and uh, nice and cool. Some uh, pellegrinos having conversations um, and uh, yeah, having a great time. So. I think everyone's settling into the, the Camino um, spirit and becoming more comfortable and yeah, that's what it's about. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Noah. 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 Noah, please. Ciao, Noah. Nice little stop by the river. <laughs> no hacer caca aquí. Aquí with a Minecraft sticker with it. <laughs> so you're not allowed to go here. You've got to go somewhere else. So a little bit out of the forest now first couple of raindrops of the uh, of the trip um, the skies are heavy and uh, you can feel the pressure mm. but otherwise it's been uh, it's been a nice walk not much to see because it's mostly been this type of uh, forest walking um, uh, no, I really feel the rain. Okay. That's no good. All right, so let me just switch this off and then we'll catch up 
once they've got ponchos on. So, you know, of course, Murphy's Law, when you put on your poncho, the rain will stop. Um, that's okay. Uh, if I didn't have the electronics, I wouldn't put the poncho on in the first place for now. So, um, but beautiful next to the river. Um, so, always nice to walk with that sound of the running water next to you. Quite peaceful and soothing and uh, yeah no there's no rain we'll see <laughs> um, it's about 10 kilometers in so about halfway to Pamplona um, and uh, yeah feeling good not uh, not gunning it not going that fast today just uh, yeah taking it easy okay so it's definitely not worth walking in this it is absolutely pouring down. Everyone's huddled in the in the bar, and um, the lightning just struck the bar. So, so it's all been happening here. Right? It's not cold. Um, the lightning has disappeared for now, and uh, it is still lightly raining. So, yeah, so I've had to pack the other cameras and stuff away for now. And, uh, yeah, just uh, filming on the action cam, which uh, is waterproof. So at least I can get a little bit out. Hopefully, by the time we get to Pamplona, um, it would be, hopefully, but if you look at the weather forecast at the moment, doesn't look like that's going to happen so um, anyway it is what it is and uh, yeah about 14 kilometers in so that stop at the restaurant it's about halfway oopsie that umbrella didn't work too well um, so and I think the rest of the stage to Pamplona there's not very much so maybe a good idea to stop the halfway have your coffee and so forth. Hi. Uh, it's there. Sorry, I just saw it now. Okay, well, now we know who the umbrella belonged to. Shame. Had I known, I would have picked it up, but I thought it was. A broken umbrella, as you heard, right? You my witnesses.
Right, so off the muddy parts for a bit. Um, I have got, if you can see that, the water, the rain gators, water gators, rain gators, because um, I thought on the Primitivo, if I can just get less water running into my shoes, it would be a win. So this time around I brought them. Listen, shoes are going to get wet, but if you can just, because the poncho drips onto your legs and runs down your legs into your shoes, right? So that's the issue. So it just helps a little bit, kind of keeping some of that water running into your shoe from the top. So, yeah, it's a thing, and I'll see how it works. Hopefully, not too often on this trip, but at least for now. So, my uh, thoughts on this route so far. Um, it's busy, of course, um, and uh, yeah, if you've already done other Caminos um, and you've also done kind of a connected into the Francais along the way, you'll understand that stream of pilgrims. Um, here it's constant from the start and I think they're gonna string out a little bit as we get further along in the in the route but for now pretty much bunched up and uh, yeah not nice people met some great people from all over and I think I just saw a squirrel I think so don't quote me on that it might have been a, a mini fox but a Spanish fox um, so, from a, the Pyrenees were amazing, um, beautiful views, um, and uh, yeah, definitely an experience. Um, I'd say not as difficult as Hospitalis on the Primitivo, and probably not as difficult as uh, Jezebel, Diazgabel, Jezebel. <laughs> from uh, Irun to San Sebastian on the Del Norte, but um, it counts. It's, it's always that first day thing that gets you. Um, and if you can make that, you'll be good. You'll be a little bit stiff for a few days, depending on what you're used to. Um, then day two and three, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, kind of under canopy forest walking, which, uh, it's really beautiful and I love it but if you're uh, looking at filming and kind of capturing content and presenting a, a decent day's uh, activity on the route then uh, it's a little bit difficult because um, yeah, how much canopy how much forest stuff can you actually watch so I don't know so uh, It'll obviously change and not change because as soon as we hit the Meseta uh, it's going to be kilometers of nothing but flat barren uh, terrain so uh, we have to make a plan there to keep it entertaining um, but we'll see uh, I think I'm just looking forward to the to the change in scenery Obviously the big cities like Pamplona today and Leon, Burgos, Astorga being outdoors and um, being on the move. So uh, then I'm, uh, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. So that's kind of my synopsis for now. Um, it is a different experience to, to other Caminos that are more kind of solitude based and you meet one or two people and you know here it's kind of constant barrage of people and um, but that for some people is their thing and if it's your thing then it's your Camino and here we're in the tunnel our tunnel and we can go echo there we go first echo of the trip Laka.
So skirting the highway into uh, Pamplona, going downhill, uh, you can start seeing the outskirts of the city um, ahead of us. Uh, the rain's pretty much gone for now. So, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. So changed camera. <clears throat> so let's talk about cameras. So, um, let me just swing this around, because I can. So, um, I normally do these kinds of shots on my phone or on the DJI Action uh, 3. So I haven't got the new one yet. Um, but before this trip, I got this DJI Pocket 3 um, with a mechanical gimbal. And uh, currently it's tracking my face. So it's got face track active. So I'm kind of getting, try getting used to it. It's, um, it is something that you need to kind of learn how to use because the gimbal kind of uh, is not, um, well, it it's, takes a bit of time to understand how it moves, etc., and what it would look like, etc. So some of this um, is going to be horrible. But that's okay. Um, the nice thing is it's got the Bluetooth DJI mic, um, which now doesn't need a, a receiver, which for me is a win, because uh, yeah, just having to deal with the receiver and the transmitter, generally when I then just go, well, just not going to use the microphone, and then I end up having crap audio. So. Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit of dedication to kind of keep it all together, I suppose. Um, and then I've kind of worked out a, a different way of keeping all the essentials close by um, and not in my bag. So, um, yeah, so I've got it kind of all around my middle in like a commando fashion. It looked like a bit of a chop, but um, that's okay. So at least that way I don't have to go into my bag when I want to fly the drone or change cameras, etc. So during this rain, I just um, put everything in plastic bags, put my poncho on, and uh, and that was absolute. And and then just use the action camera, which is um, which is waterproof. And for the drone, I've got the DJI Mini, Mini 4 Pro, so the newer one. After, you, you'll remember in the Primitivo, a flock of birds took out my Mini 3 Pro. So I had to replace that. Um, it is more expensive to have it fixed than to, well, almost to buy it new. So um, it kind of doesn't make sense. Um, and of course, I'm out of the warranty, etc. So. It is just what it is. So it's served me well. It's done a couple of Caminos with me. So the Mini 4 Pro um, has got a couple of features, obviously, that are upgraded from uh, the predecessor. Um, and we'll, we can talk about that at, at a later stage, not to bore you. Um, or you can just go watch the videos. Um, I haven't been able to fly that much, so I'm relying on this type of footage. Um, just because, and as I said, it's uh, the scenery, the places have pretty much been all enclosed. And um, thankfully I got some um, more ri uh, river and bridge shots in Zubiri this morning. So that was quite nice. I thought it was going to be raining then. So, um, but yeah, so less drone flying now. Um, and then I think once it opens up, um, I'll be able to do a little bit more. So. That is a little bit on technology and on uh, the gear. Um, yeah, so as I said, it is a, a labor of love and dedication because you have to kind of keep it all together and keep it charged and carry it all. So, yeah, but it's lacquer. I enjoy it and I enjoy doing this, you know, this type of thing. And of course, enjoy editing it afterwards. So for me, that's, that's a lot of fun. So I see a bridge in the front here, and it's the it's an old Roman bridge, um, and it's the first 
uh, entry into Pamplona and uh, then I can see kind of bigger buildings in the front etc so I'm going to take you through Pamplona shortly I think this suburb or this little village is called Are and uh, it says 4.8 kilometers from here to Pamplona so that's what it is. We are on 18.4 so it will make the day about 22 or so not 20, 23. Anyway, 2023 20, doesn't really matter, but uh, we're uh, in the main street. I don't know if it's the main street, I'm just talking shit. So we're about 19.3 kilometers in, and uh, walking through Are, beautiful tree-lined street. So going over the second bridge, 22 kilometers in, and uh, yeah, I can see the cathedral from the bottom here, and uh, it looks beautiful. So, sun's just come out, 